Hello everybody, welcome to the final part of my Creepy Smoky Logo tutorial where in the last tutorial we went over creating our particle system here which is like a quick cloud of smoke going across. This is going to reveal our logo. So this is all in made in After Effects CS6 and if you would like to check out the other previous tutorials check out the new Boston's YouTube page and you should just look them up that's that's all there is to it obviously so let's get started with the tutorial I'm going to extend my uh, work area back to where it was because that's what I like to do I guess there's no real reason to do it but we've got our smoke coming across here and we need to reveal the logo so we're going to create a mask on our smoky title here. And we can do that with probably like a rounded rectangle tool, I bet. There we go. Now, let's uh, go to our mask path. We're going to start at the beginning. We're going to animate it. Let's go back to our selection tool. Select these two right here. We'll start where we can't see anything. Now, move ahead and try to get this to go with the smoke here. might have to put a couple more keyframes in there just to make it look good. Now I'm going to use my page up to go back some frames so I can figure out when the smoke ends which I'll go up one more probably there. On this frame it's basically gone so I'm just gonna move it all the way now we can see by pressing going frame by frame if it's the way we want it to be and in this section I mean it's it's coming it's coming in too fast so let's bring it back That's good. I have a, a mouse with some buttons near the thumb for gaming, and every time I hit one of the numbers on the button uh, on the mouse, it uh, makes that noise on my computer. So sorry if that ever happens. So we have this uh, animating across. Now we're just going to do the same thing on to the uh, smoke layer. So let's copy this, edit, copy, and smoke across, edit, paste. Actually, the smoke already had a already had a mask on it. So let's undo that. We'll just animate the mask that's already on it. So let's go to the beginning. I don't want anything to show right now. We can just animate the whole thing going across. I'm gonna do that again and I'm gonna hold shift so it goes straight across. And let go of my mouse first before I let go of shift. Now let's go to the end here. All right, this is the, this is good for the end. Move this across. Like we had it before, like this. Now let's go in between to make sure it's showing up correctly. Like right here, it's too fast, so let's move it back. Oop! So better select it all. 
Uh, there we go. All right, that's good. Uh, that's going to be good for that. That one's a little easier. You don't have to be more as precise with that one. So there's our reveal. Now the, the last thing we need to do is I added some music on to, to give it uh, an effect. For some reason, when you when you make like a some like a total a, a logo or something like that or some cool motion graphics it always seems better with some music added to it it's not always easy to find music on the internet that you can use especially if you're going to be making money off your youtube videos so i'm going to add in my music and then i have to show you where i got it from so here's my music that I got in the audio section. I'm going to just put it on and luckily it lines up perfectly with with the uh with the comp because I already tested it that out. Let's go to I'm going to bring up the web page that I that I had. So this is where I got it from. In Compitech Dot com and this is the one I picked was static motion if I go to more you can see this is a uh, Creative Commons license and I needed to um, credit this guy for it so here's the uh, credits here hopefully you guys can read it static motion Kevin MacLeod so that's good enough hopefully they're happy with that so let's I'm going to put this on full and I'm going to render it with a RAM preview and then I'm going to hit pause because it's going to take a bit and then come back when it's fully rendered. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, this is done rendering, so let's check it out. So now you can render it, and uh, what I like to do is um, just make sure you're on your ma your main layer here, and go to um, composition, or is it? I thought it was com yeah composition, and then click on add to render queue, and the hotkey is Control M. And uh, this section right here is where you can name it. So what? Creepy logo. And then go to your output module down here. And the format that I always like to try use is you could use AVI if you want, but I usually go with a uh, QuickTime. Then I come over here to the format options, and uh, have it on Sorensen Video Three. Which is a pretty good codec. And hit OK. And come down to your auto audio output and check that. Hit OK. Now come over here to render settings. And this should be correct. Just make sure it's at 24 there. And then you have the correct duration. And um, I ended up changing mine to uh, 10 seconds. So we can end this at 10. And uh, that would work. Hit OK. Let's see. Now all that stuff looks OK. And then you would come over here to this button right here. Make sure this is checked. And hit render. And then you can render out your project. And then you it'll take a little bit. When you hear the ding, that means it's done. And then go to your folder that you saved it in and and view it. It should turn out correct. So thank you for uh, staying with me through the whole tutorial and all the different parts. Hopefully you guys thought this was pretty cool and 
I'm looking forward to seeing some of these on the internet. So I'll uh, see all you guys later. Keep watching the new Boston and keep checking out the After Effects tutorials because I'm going to keep pumping them out. See you later.